Hey there, everybody. I have you guys at a wonderful close-up angle. Today, we're going to check in on that sweet potato. We placed it in here 38 days ago. The last time we checked was two weeks ago. I was hoping to get in sooner. Don't know how the time flew so fast. So let's go ahead and get straight to it. You can see the moisture is still good in this bin. Paper is nice and moist for the worms. Let me just remove that off to the side. We can replace that later. And let's see what we find. Hopefully it's on this side. Yes, it is on this side. I think we put it in deeper last time. There we go. We've got some action going on here. Still here after two weeks since the last check-in. Oh my. Look at that. Like spaghetti. Falling out. Look at them. All up in there. Doing their business. It feels still heavy, so I don't know if that's the worms or there's still a lot of good stuff left in here. But let's see what we can find. Just warm heaven. It's just the skin. Oh my gosh. Look at them. And then there's a little bit on the end here of some of the inside still left. But look at them. Look at them enjoying this sweet potato still. Day 38, two weeks later since the last check-in. Let's see if I can grab the worm ball here. Now we've got the sweet potatoes split in two. They're like all in here as well. And look at these worms. Hopefully they're not too mad that we're up in their personal space <laughs> too close. <laughs> but let's set them down and remove all these worms from my glove. And then I'll get you at a different angle. And we'll take a look at that piece of sweet potato that's still left. There we go. So from that big piece of sweet potato, this is what we have left. Well, and this piece too here, actually. So this is what is left of that huge whole sweet potato. Probably another week, and then this will be gone. So let's set that off to the side. Look at this worm ball one more time. I mean, wow. Just a pile of worms. Living life. Having a ball. There's still this tiny piece right here that they're attached to. I don't want to break it off, but we'll move them there. And let's just fluff the bin a little bit. So let's flip these guys around a little bit. So here's a mango seed with some worms around it. Still hard as a rock. This grape stem that's been in here for a while. Usually everybody says it takes a long time, but I feel like there's a little bit more progress on it. I'm gonna move that sweet potato over there on that grape stem. Maybe they'll hit that grape stem on the way and cover it up. So we can go ahead and check the other side of the bin in the middle as well. Let's fluff it up a little bit. Somebody mentioned before that they thought that there was some European nightcrawlers in this bin. 
and like this one this one that's giving a hard time and jumping around like crazy from the light and this one as well that one's too small to tell but these three I agree they definitely are acting like European night crawlers. What I'm going to do is go ahead and set these guys into the adult bin. They are too long to be red wigglers and they're freaking out way too much. And then look at this one right here. That is definitely a European night crawler. They don't like it when they're messed with in their bins so they start crawling on the edges. Let me grab him. And they try to leave. So I will put these four guys back into the European Nightcrawler adult bin and then we'll continue checking on this Red Wiggler bin. They must have crawled in here but there's probably a good three feet of space from my Red Wiggler bin, this bin that we're going through now and that European Nightcrawler adult bin so they must have crawled for a very long time and then found their way in but that's okay you can tell when they're bigger now the size of them and and identify them as European night crawlers. So we can just easily move them over to where they need to be. This is just an avocado shell, half of it. With the little guy enjoying it. We'll stick that underneath so it can continue to get consumed. There's lots of those avocado shells. Trying to even everything out the best I can. Now let's put the paper back on. It's a little more crumbly and has a little bit more holes this time, but that's a-okay. I don't think the worms care. So if they don't care, I don't care along with them. Of course, it's not going to be edge to edge. And then plastic covering is going back on. So we're going to give it another week, but looks like they're finally rocking that sweet potato. I will see you guys next time. Have a lovely day. Bye-bye.